The news of the Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing no doubt is causing concern and worry. This has been a very difficult decision, not taken lightly. But as we have been saying, diocesan resources are limited. Even though mediation was not moving forward, we have separately resolved and settled more than 50 of the 400 plus cases. We don't have the resources to settle anymore. The chapter 11 filing means legal actions against the diocese will pause, allowing time to develop a reorganization plan that will determine available assets. Those assets will be used to negotiate reasonable settlements with all who still have pending CVA cases. But during the reorganization, the mission of the diocese must and will continue, including serving our poor, evangelization, education and faith formation, and continuing the other vital ministries of our parishes. Let me first address victim survivors. I am deeply sorry that anyone suffered abuse in the church. While I cannot take away those memories and that pain, I have promised and am committed to walking with you on the road to healing. And that involves more than any financial settlement. You do not have to walk alone. To the St. Clair's pensioners, this filing will put on hold the lawsuits that are pending this was not our reason for filing. While questions remain as to how the pension failed, I want to walk with you as well, if you will allow me to. The diocese does not have the means to restore the pension, but I do care. I want to listen to your stories, if you are willing to share. And to all our faith family, our clergy, our religious and our parishioners, I understand that you may be experiencing fear and uncertainty, but I also have hope. Hope that we are not walking alone. God is with us, walking with us. I am, it may help to remember that Jesus struggled too in the Garden of Gethsemane, the night before his crucifixion. He prayed, desperately asking his father to take this cup from him. But God said no. Jesus responded. Not my will be done, but yours be done. And he walked forward into the fear and then through the fear. Through his crucifixion came new life. With God, I pray that we can all experience new life on the path forward, growing stronger together. I say this to all who are watching. You are not alone. Know that you are in my prayers. Healing is possible, but only if we are willing to right the wrongs done in the past. Help those who were hurt to heal and trust God to guide us. I pray that we will all keep our hearts open to the possibility that we can go through this to be more loving, more giving, and truly be the people that God created us to be. May God bless you.